We're here in Duluth, Minnesota, looking for the legendary invasive species, the sea lamprey. Its scientific name is Petromyzon marinus. It comes from the Atlantic coast of the United States and Canada, but it swam through canals and entered the Great Lakes back in the 1930s. Let's go on an investigation. So last night, I went out and put a fishing pole and a net down at the lake um, to see if anything would just grab a bite or whatever before we actually started our investigation. Put this fishing pole out yesterday. Let's see if I got anything. <sighs> oh man, it looks like a big one. Uh, oh man. Oh, net it, net it, net it, net it. Hmm. This looks like the works of a sea lamprey. Well, to, to learn more about the sea lamprey in this area, we decided to call a town hall meeting to get more information about it. But I better hurry up because I'm going to be late. Um, called this town hall meeting to learn more about the sea lamprey. Have either of you two encountered this species? I have. I've seen it. It can eat 40 more pounds of fish in its lifetime. They, re they eat so many large fish that they there's a huge increase in small fish, causing an unbalance in the ecosystem. Have you ever tried to control the species? They, they use lamprecides, which were introduced in the 1950s to try to kill the larvae. They aren't harmful to humans, plants, invertebrates, fish, or waterfowl. Have you ever encountered a species in real life? See, si, senor. Can you show us where? Sure. So I went to go visit our first witness, Tyrone, to see if he did actually see a sea lamprey that day when he took his pet fish, Jimmy, for a swim. Here we are. Alright. So, take us what you saw, my boy. Take us see what you saw. I took my pet fish to the lake to go for a swim. And when I pulled him back out, there was a huge hole in him. Interesting. You still have this fish? Yeah, I do. Hey, Jimmy. How long ago did this happen? About a year. Interesting. Um, what kind of fish is it? It's a lake trout. These and many other big fish are the main prey for sea lampreys. Thanks so much for your time. I'm out, yo. Deuces! I had a brief meeting with my second witness. Jerry about to find out what he knows about the sea land bridge. So a witness for the sea land bridge. Indeed I am. Can you take us through what happened? Well it was a beautiful day out and I was decided to go fishing and when I was really in my catch I saw one right next to my boat. How big was it? It was about three feet long and it was like brown and black in color. Could have been anything! No it was definitely a sea land prey. Can you tell us how it reproduces? I can. Will you explain? Well, in the spring, the the lampreys, they, they go to these spawning streams that they locate by naturally produced chemicals in the water. And the, they build a nest, which it's called a red. And the female lays 10,000 eggs. The male comes in and fertilizes them, but then the adults both die. That's a beautiful process. Yes, it is. We had to set up a team meeting, so to set up our last night investigation to find the sea lamprey. All right, guys, we need to move on to our next investigation. We need to actually find one of these sea lampreys ourselves. There's no way we're gonna find one. Renee, please, they're out there. They're the single most devastating species in Great Lakes history, and millions of dollars are spent each year trying to control the species. Well, we're never going to actually eliminate them, we are doing a great job at limiting them. And now, actually, a lot of large fish species are thriving again in the Great Lakes and nearby tributaries. Okay. It's true, there are parasitic species that kill six out of seven fish they attach to. Okay, well maybe they're out there. We're going to prove it to you. We're going to catch one of these. Let's go. We're never going to find a sea lamprey. 
cycle of this creature? Well, their first stage, they start out as larvae, and and then they live in the ground for about three to six years after they, after their parents lay eggs. And then they get out of the ground and they go feed on fish for about 12 to 20 months. And as, and then as they become into adults, they lay eggs and die. Here we've all wrong. Renee, you're never right. Well, I guess we should put it back now. Psych! Take it home. <laughs> did we find a sea lamprey, <laughs> Did we find a sea lamprey? Yes, we did. You skeptic! Looks like we've had another successful case on finding invasive species. I'm Matt Moneymaker. This creature this is especially dangerous because of its adaptations. The fish are not used to this aggressive feeding behavior of the sea lamprey. Its suction cup mouth and its razor sharp teeth are crucial when it's feeding on the host. Money maker out. Getting money. Well, we had a, a successful investigation looking for the sea lamprey. And I got me a new pet. Kobe. Kobe the sea lamprey. Say hi, Kobe. Yeah. Well, this is me calling out. Matt Moneymaker. Getting money. Trademark. Don't use that.